Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Swissman15 back with another episode of a battle replay from Medieval 2 Total War. Uh, this is a little 2v2 on uh, the grassy plains that I played not too long ago, but I'm uploading this battle as a point that must be made. It, I might be spoiling the end of this battle, but it is a point that must be made, and I have to ex explain it now. It is a point that when you're doing a team battle and you can be next to your ally, be next to your ally. I was telling this, um, the Moors, the Lancelot, we were trying to rush, and I was telling him, please come next to me, please come next to me, it's not good not to be next to each other, and he wouldn't listen to me, he's like, we'll be fine, it's good, just just come, and I'm, uh, just calm down, I'm like, no, no, we have to be next to each other to win, and he wouldn't listen, just nothing I would say, um, <laughs> it was not good enough, nothing would appease him, I feel like they anticipated a rush, because I don't see the, um, the uh, Venetians only bought two, actually, I didn't notice. But um, we are rushing, yes, and uh, I'm playing as England, Lancelot is playing as the Moors, our enemies are Brancelon, a friend of mine, he's playing as Sicily, and uh, Alvilon, oh wait, Alvalion, Alva, Alvalion, yes, Alva, Alvalion, Alvalion, yes, Alvalion, yes, yes, I got it, see, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> He's playing as Venice, of course. And I think he brought some strads, which was... Uh, yeah, yeah, strads. So overpowered. But we are rushing. Um, I'm not going to go right into the army compositions, because it is, it is an exciting battle from my perspective, at least. So um, I decide it is in time to employ the Swiss man charge. Uh, you will notice in a second. Yep, here we go. And he was telling me, apparently, while I was going, that I have no idea how to rush because I didn't bring enough archers. I was like, oh, what? No? Well, yeah, that's how it works out. Yeah, you, you've got to be. You get checkmate, man. I didn't bring enough archers to the rush. I only brought three. Mm, how dare I? But uh, And then he's also criticizing me for the Swiss man charge, which he says was a terrible idea separating from my infantry. Um, I don't know what he was saying because it worked out fine besides the two I lost there. <laughs> and uh, we got a nice counter charge. I noticed that last second, and here, getting great charges into these pavis and these armored surgeons, and I'm pulling out quite quickly, as you can see, um, quite a few charges, and he's trying to wrap around Cav. I took, got one of my Knights Hospitaller around to uh, delay them for a second while I get my other Cav to support me. Uh, we have some routing already by the armored sergeants, that's why I don't think they're the greatest pickup. And the moors are slow to get to me, and this is the real problem, is that I'm being double teamed at this point. I have Stradiots to fight, which completely decimated my English knights. Like, this is why I hate Stradiots. They're so fast, and they decimated my heavy calf. But I got my, um, armored, uh, my English knights over here, two anders on each flank, to deal with these cav, and they will deal with them thusly. You can see them taking down these Stradiots quite quickly which is uh, what they're really good at, but I also have to deal with the General's Bodyguard. And I'm rushing in, and you can see how my infantry is really sporadic. My micro with the infantry was bad. I was really overwhelmed with the cav for a second. I'm trying to catch up and uh, fight back against his cav. He sent some Shiver Knights really far out, and I also got some infantry into this fight, The uh, these two-handers, fighting the General nonetheless, so uh, good, good job, guys. <laughs> And uh, now I finally got my infantry engaging. My infantry does outnumber him, but his outclasses mine. He put quite heavy upgrades, and he's got his archers supporting his uh, infantry as well. And, and then we also have the Venetians in the fight with their really strong, heavily upgraded Venetian infantry, which are just amazing, especially with the Stradiots combined. So um, I'm a little bit... Uh, being outmatched. And then we have the Moors making their merry way over here. Um, yeah, very slow. I was very upset with him. Like, the moment he didn't come next to me, I was just like, oh, he's terrible. <laughs> Which was probably a little quick to judge. And Brentsel, I'm getting good rear charges on me, but I decided to focus fire with my Sherwood Archers on these Cav, and I think I do get some good shots against them. Uh, let's see. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> apparently I have lied to all of you. Um, I have, I'm liar who lies to you guys. And they are sitting here charging to nothing. I think I'll charge. Come on, shoot. Okay, I haven't shot yet. But I do know that I focus fire eventually on him. And I got my general going behind, getting some rear charges. Um, getting a nice charge right in the back of these uh, dismounted Norman knights. And I'm breaking through right here with my infantry, but also I'm getting wrapped around by the general's bodyguard. My cab did get outmatched, because the English knights are not as good as other cav. But I'm surprised they did hold up as well as they did. Um, it, it was impressive to me. But they, they did their job. Uh, I want to play as England to mix things up a bit, because I never played them on the field, and I thought I could do it. And um, 
it seems to be going. It's a very close battle, as you can see. We're both getting rear charges, uh, both trying to silence the other. And these... Uh, <laughs> These poor sh oh, the, and there goes the enemy general, the Sicilian general, and that made me happier than I that I could be. And uh, I'm taking, yeah. See, now I'm getting the rear shots on these shivering knights, as they rightly deserve to die, trying to defy me. How dare they! But my infantry on this side is being outclassed. They got m took many rear charges and had v Venetian support, and um, I don't have much to answer them. So I start concentrating fire on them after I took out them, uh, took out these shivering knights. But um, as you can see, overall, I am losing this rush at this point. Um, his infantry did, for some reason, outclass mine. I probably put a little bit too much, <laughs> spent too much on upgrades or on my cav or something or another. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Sherwood Archers. Probably not my best rush army, um, but I want to try something new. And it's all in good sport, you know? And also, I was double teamed nonetheless uh, at the beginning because the Moors took their merry time and routed quite qu quickly because you can see. The Venice is pretty, pretty healthy um, all around the show. He's got tons of uh, men around. I killed a lot of Venetians, actually, over here in this fight. Uh, a lot of his cav as well. And here, it's just the scraps of the fight at this point. Um, Sicily does have more than me, but I do have my Sherwood Archers and some sp sporadic infantry, and he doesn't have his general, which is my saving grace. Um, I have this uh, unit, these units sandwiched over here, and they are wavering and unhappy. So I'm just trying desperately to get them to rout. But um, I had no luck with that. I just had my general going around, trying to get some rear charges, and try to get as many kills and hope for the best. And um, my shoot archers did excellent, though. They actually end up routing this this unit, which isn't that impressive. But they also get many kills elsewhere. So I'm happy with them. I'm glad I brought them. I thought they were great. I just probably shouldn't have gotten my second um, English knight unit. I should have probably only brought one and used the rest to get upgrades on my inventory. Because uh, that would have let, let them hold a lot more because they had upgrades when I did not. I, I didn't plan that out accordingly. You need strong infantry during the rush because you do take some a lot of archer fire. So... Um, that was my bad, but I think overall this army performed well. With a little tweaking, I think this would be a great rush army. And uh, as you can see right here, these Sicilians with their excess infantry are charging in my Sherwood Arches, but they are shaken and unhappy. And I think I could actually rout them, but then we have Venice, which is qu he's quite healthy and ready to take me on. And I can't take on both of them, especially with this little force, because it was a very close battle between me and Brenslon. He doesn't have much left, I just have my general. And um, so, very good good game to Grand Sloan. He uh, defended against the Swiss man rush, which not many have done with the help of his ally and all. And it was a very fun battle indeed, despite the fact that I was very angry at my opponent, who did not do as I said, because everyone should listen to me. But no, that's not the reason. But because he was defying logic of being, let's stay together and help each other, because it's a point, is that if he had gone with me in the original rush, um, is my point in the entire thing. If he had been together with me and ready, he would have been there to stop Venice from getting the early flanks, taking out one of my entire cav units, which probably could have changed the entire outcome of the battle. And also, you, I wouldn't have had to deal with so many... Um, and there goes another general, uh, mine, actually. Poor guy, he died. <laughs> I died on the battlefield! Um, but actually, he would have been there to uh, help save me, um, help deal with the infantry that I had to deal with, and the, the uh, Stratiots if he had actually been close to me and gone with me, but he was not on his own little stubborn tangent. So, um, over here, I got 715 kills and 93 captures. Um, I didn't have as many to be killed as Brent's alone did, which is also why mine seems so much higher. It was probably a lot closer than it looks kill-wise, but I did get a lot of kills because I also had to kill a lot of Alvalon, who did excellent, by the way, getting 845 and 115 kills, and Lancelot doing pretty poorly. Um, he did have less to kill, but not much less, only 20 less um, people to kill, and uh, he only got 500, and usually for, if you, a good loss is getting 550 to 600 and up, and that's really loud background noise, and I'm sorry, I asked him to be quiet, but there's only so much I can do in my household, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, I hope you guys learned to stick with your ally, because that's important, very, very important. And uh, I hope you all join me in the next time in the next uh, videos I upload. I'm grateful to you all who subscribe, and I hope you guys like and comment as well. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.